Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Friday the 10th of February. Can you believe that it's already the 10th out here? Holy moly. Whoops, wrong way. The old barn out there. The boy's always been working on that thing here lately. But I got something really cool to show you. Hang tight here half a second. So you guys know how I built the little thumb wheels for my RC cars. Man, did it turn out, it just absolutely pouring down rain today and all of a sudden it just stopped a couple hours ago. <laughs> too bad it's too late to go for a ride. But anyway, the thumb wheels, and I've got these cheesy things coming from eBay that, uh, what, they've been ordered for like two months now or something? Yeah, that's why I don't get stuff from... The only thing I get from eBay is like Himalayan stuff because I get them in like two or three days. But uh, anyway. But Terry from California sent me this. He actually sent me a couple of them. How about that? And it works phenomenally well. Is that cool or what? This is for the Bronco. Let's... uh. I haven't tested it out. I've just been sitting here fiddling with it. Feels great. Let's go check it out. Before we roll with this gal, I mentioned to you yesterday that we kind of adjusted some things out here. So we got 90% of that hay, although I see some of it coming back. I've seen the dogs out here roaming around. But we just moved some things around. I need an actual rock crawling area there's not much challenge to this the only challenge at all was the uh, k10 with the 2.2 wheels going up and down that thing but uh yeah we kind of cleaned things up a little bit out here so um i think that's just grass that was under the ground i don't know but anyway let's run the course with the trx4 bronco that thumb wheel feels good I haven't done anything. I literally put that winch on that night, showed it to you guys, and never touched it. <laughs> this one, I don't know what it is about the Bronco, but it's just crazy, crazy smooth. I haven't done anything to the suspension, nothing to it. And it's funny, as I've seen other reviewers going the same thing, going, you know, I've, I've got a half dozen TRX-4s and there's something about the Bronco. But it doesn't have, like, anything special as far as equipment and stuff on it. It's just a regular TRX-4 with a really cool Bronco body on it. There's a couple of places I get hung up. Oh couple places I get hung up on out here but just because of the height of them but yeah that you can see how the suspension works so smooth on this thing the uh, this one's just done it right out of the gate the sport was kind of like the k10 I think bounced around like it I mean it just it felt like a toy more than you know, an actual vehicle. I sure like those uh, Pro-Line uh, kind of knockoffs on the K10. Those actually work really nice. But I guess the actual um, high racks, I think they call them. Look at them backup lights, isn't that cool? <laughs> I love it. I don't think I have the yep, diff locks are off. Now the uh the TRX4 Sport and even Hmm. How do we deal with that? So I had a little bit of an idea. <laughs> Mm 
imagine that first use case of the old winch what do you think of that bronco with your fancy little winch on the front what if you were to get in a really bad position and someone had to haul you out of something like from the bottom of a canyon or something Oh yeah, she's feeling some weight now. Well, I guess someone could just lift you out, I reckon, huh? Old car's doing, help, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Get me out of this mess. <laughs> How about that? That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh my lord. Does the kid in us ever go away? Look at that thing, it don't even care. That's pretty cool. That's a return to, to where we were, I guess, huh? <laughs> that is kind of a tricky spot to go over, though. Found these rocks out there behind the, the barn entrance there. the big barn heading out or facing out in the field Kelly goes would you like some river rocks go where are you gonna find those there's a couple of them sitting right here somehow really got dug up as the horses went through there over the years no diff lock so far today Doing all right there, old tracks. Ooh, that could be. Oh yeah, total body scraper right there. Yeah, just push the rear end over. Might require some diff locks. Oh yeah, that's ugly. Oh yeah, it's actually grabbing it. I can't let it do it. I can't scratch it this early. Um, I guess that's, that would be considered too late, huh? I'll be a son of a gun. Hopefully it wipes off. Huh, that sucks. Now I can make this thing go. Where are you at back there? You, you coming out? I can't see you from over here. We'll do this with the diff locks off. But it is possible to get over it. Just give her just a little goose. She don't care that much. She's a good old gal. Yeah, that thumb wheel works great. Thank you very much, Terry. That is some kind of awesome. <laughs> Back with the diffs. They turn so much better with them with them unlocked that it's hard to resist. You know, just leaving them off. <laughs> and I found this little board back there so I was goofing around not as challenging but I, I don't want to flop one of these things oh look at that really there you went just took a little bit of steering input Son of a gun, scaring me like that. I didn't place that dog toy thing there on purpose. It just happened to dig up as I was raking along out there. and I just threw it up there. It's still there. Definitely a brick scratch. Ooh. 
we get anything else? Bummer. Man, that, that's a real bummer. But that little winch, that's pretty cool, huh? I don't know what this thing weighs. I think it's probably around seven or eight pounds. And the winch has a a ten mount a ten pound limit. Look at that. I just wet my finger and ran it around it and it uh cleared it right off. It was just it was just brick dust. Sorry about that, Bronco. With your fancy looking winch. That little remote. Why is that thing flipping it? Must be trying to go into um, close-ups or something. That little Traxxas remote. That thing works great. Just in and out. And you can have it paired up to two winches. So if you've got a couple vehicles out there, like husband and wife kind of a thing, you can uh, you can run each truck with it. I think you just bounce back and forth or something. Yeah, you just switch the channels. That's pretty cool. No, well, even though I only filmed just a little bit with you guys, that's still just a tremendous amount of fun. You have no idea how much time I spend out here goofing around, just ripping around. It's easy. Uh, it's easy to film in here because I can just walk around in this little small space and try not to trip over stuff down there. Because you're watching where the car's going, where the camera's going, or at least you're trying to. I attempt to. You know, the only bummer about that winch is it's slightly, when you look here, it kind of covers the uh, the Bronco, but most of the time you stand here, you can see it. Terry, again, for the thumb wheel, or the thumb wheels, you get sent me two of them. You are a legend. Thank you, kind sir. So you guys recall a while back, these, uh, they're basically Chinese copies of um, pro lines they call them um, high racks these uh, predators I think is what they refer to them as these work amazingly well amazingly well well today I received the actual pro line high racks and I got another set of of wheels and these from a company this is the pro line i've been using these things for so long it's crazy this is the model hyrax that i got and this is the trio i've seen a lot of stuff from these guys that's the beadlocks that i got you can get these things in in different colors the only bummer is see the six little stainless screws in the in the middle there. <laughs> you gotta take that hood cap off. I mean, technically I could run them open like that, but if it comes with a excuse me a hood cap over that, why wouldn't you? You just don't want to be taking your wheels off a lot. But this is who they copied. It was a real thing. Funny, they feel about the same. I've actually watched a bunch of reviews from people reviewing the the real thing and the and the knockoffs over here to the left, and uh, these do really really well for the price, super well. Most of them have some kind of name on. Them. I got these from Hobby Park. It's a, those stands that I got. They it's a, one of those companies that sell tons of RC car stuff, and um. Anyway, that's where I got those from. And it it was wheels and tires all in one kit. It was kind of cool. These were two separate things. I like the wheels on them. They're simple, not too flashy. These are, you know, actually have bolts out here. This is actually a, a for real ring. But the you can take them apart like these, where you, there's five screws on the inside that hold... They are true bead lockers. They're locking down. But uh, these actually have the, the ring. But you assemble the ring first. And then they bolt in the back just like this. So it's very easy to swap around if you want to change tires. And at first I was just going to put the tires on there. But uh, I thought, you know, that is not exactly a fun job to do on these things. So 
I got some wheels as well. That's pretty cool stuff. I think so anyway. So you're probably asking yourself, what truck's he gonna put that on? Well, what did I drive around today? Look at that. Those look good on the old Bronco. The old Bronco has some sticky sticky. I would have had them on when I went out there, but the wheels didn't show up. They delivered the tires at the wrong house, so that was a problem. And the wheels are small enough they fit in the mailbox. So, uh, but we didn't get those until uh, 5.15 this afternoon. So I ran, ran down there in the old war wagon and got the mail. She was late as heck today. And the reason I, they got misdelivered is they had helpers. And um, they're pretty famous for putting them in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, those look good on there. I like that a lot. Them little tiny screws, I'm glad they give you some extras. Because you're going to, it's funny, they gave me eight extra of the ones that hold the rims together. And uh, basically a whole wheel worth of the little tiny, tiny ones that hold the hub caps on. But that looks good. I like it. I like that a lot, actually. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, it's crazy how the end of the day, how nice it got. I know, it. But that's why it got cold. Yeah, it's like 38, 39 degrees out here. I'm like, what the heck happened? I had windows open back in the bedroom, walk there and go, what the heck? Cold as heck, look at the thermometer and going, dang. Yeah, she <laughs> cooled right off. Yeah, that's crazy. Maybe that's a sign it might be nice tomorrow. Yeah. Sure any maybe. chance of that? Who knows? Are you got to check every day. Yeah, every day they change it. I don't think there's any chance to be any sunshine today. Man, it absolutely typhooned last night. Yeah, and it was still typhooning early this morning. Yeah, yeah, everything was just soaking wet and just misting. And at one point when I walked out there, it was misting, and I thought... This is how this day is going to go. Yeah. All of a sudden, sunshine. We like Crazy. that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, again, Terry, for the thumb wheels, that's awesome. That thing works really, really well. I like how that if I need to adjust it, I just slide it on the foam wheel and, and it sticks. Wherever you stop, that's where it sticks. That's way cool. Yeah, that was very pleasing to drive the Bronco. That stupid little Amazon thing I had on there. It worked, but it's annoying that the ones you sent me, that's perfect. So awesome. thank you very much for that. Very cool. But Mom, I smell food. Food be a cooking. Yeah, she goes, we got to do it, do it quick because <laughs> dinner's um, going to be about ready. Yep. But I was going to say, I said, we'll call it at that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Leo says good night as well. Yes, with his low woo woo. Ooh, yeah, yeah you crazy woo -woo. old mutt. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a big baby. All right, we'll see you in the morning. See you then. Thanks now. Bye bye. bye.